Okay. I think I have finally, finally found a recipe that I can actually drink on a regular basis. Like, I'm so proud of myself that I feel like I need to share it now. So, like, yeah, this is my new creation. This is my new go-to every morning now. This is a espresso protein shake. Yes, this has two shots of espresso and um, I only did one scoop, so it's about 625 calories in this shake. Now this is just one cup and as you can see, I've already been drinking it. It is really, really, really good. Don't mind my nails. I was doing them myself. I am practicing. But yeah, I I have been struggling with this for so long because it just tastes so nasty. And I'm like, I'm not drinking this every single morning. So the fact that I can just like slurp on this and it tastes so good and it's giving me energy and I'm getting the calories that I need, I'm excited. Like, yeah, it's still good. I'm so excited. So yeah, if you wanna see how I make this, just keep on watching. This has been postponed for a very long time. I have been wanting to do this video for so long and kind of start a routine with using this serious mask. So um, serious mass is weight gain powder. And basically I get so, um, like I get such bad anxiety when I think about drinking this because I like opened it and I smelt it and it just like upset my stomach. So I just have been prolonging it. I haven't been taking it. And now I'm finally gonna try to incorporate it into my daily routine. So I figured I drink coffee every morning. So maybe if I try to make a um, like a shake with coffee in it, then I'll like think about drinking it more and it'll be easier for me to drink. So what I'm thinking about doing is making kind of like um, like a caramel espresso shake, I guess. So to make that, I'm gonna use this um, Starbucks double shot espresso. I'm gonna use this um, Fairlife, just some regular whole milk. I have this caramel syrup here that I'm gonna pour into it, some sugar. Um, I'm gonna be using, this is the Ninja Foodie, um, they're like bowl blender. So like this makes the smoothie bowls as well as regular smoothies. And then obviously the Serious Mask, and this is in vanilla. Now one, it tells you, I believe on the bag to take like two heaping scoops, but I was like, oh hell no, I am not doing that. I'm gonna show you just what one scoop is. Like, and it says heaping scoops. So that means like, don't be shy. Like, come on. This is a huge scoop. This is so much powder. So it says to use two of these, so I'm not gonna use two. I'm just gonna use one because, yeah. And I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put the ice in first, but whatever. So I'm just gonna go grab some ice. I filled it up with ice. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put the ice in first and then the liquid and then the powder. My bad. So I guess to try to like mix in the powder, I'm gonna just, I actually really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna pour some milk until it looks appropriate. Oh. Um. There's definitely not enough milk, but I'm also gonna be pouring in the, um, what's it called? I'm gonna be pouring the espresso too, so. I don't know why I put the powder in first. There was so much powder. I close it super tight. 
Um, there's not enough liquid in there. But we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so with this one, there is the Power Bowl option and the Extract option. I don't want to make it super thick, so I'm gonna use the Power Cup option, I guess. Okay, so yeah, it's automatic, it does it by itself, but I obviously don't have enough liquid in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the espresso in now. So yeah, let's try this again. Oh gosh, okay, here we go. It obviously looks blended, but I don't trust it. I definitely forgot to put the caramel in. It's okay. This is a lot more watery than I thought it was gonna be, which is not a problem, I hope. Um, I'm just gonna taste it. I mean, it looks like, <laughs> It looks nice and creamy, so I'm just gonna taste it. Hope for the best. So, that actually tastes really good. This tastes just like the espresso shake from Sonic. Yeah, this made a lot. I did not think it was gonna make that much. Oh my God. Um, on the bright side, I can say that I feel like this is something that I can drink every day in the morning with the coffee, definitely. It cuts out a lot of that, um, that powdery taste, so I taste more of the espresso than I do the powder. Yeah, this could work. But I think next time I am going to blend the caramel into the smoothie itself. I definitely made too much, but this was really freaking good. I'm really happy. So if you are struggling to um, consume this in any type of way, I would definitely try the recipe out. So yeah, I just used like the black espresso um, from Starbucks. And just some regular whole milk or whatever milk you want to use, almond milk, coconut milk, whatever you want to use. Um, and then I also didn't even put the sugar in, so didn't even need the sugar. Just put a little bit of caramel sauce at the bottom. But other than that, I would definitely do this again. And if I come up with any other good recipes, I will definitely let everybody know. Um, on that note, if you like this video, please drop a thumbs up and... If you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And on that note, I will see you in the next one.